Word. So, um, Issa re uh, releasing, you know, the singles, literally this whole show has a soundtrack. And for the fact that Issa's uh, music label is being involved in that, it's kind of like bringing it from the screen to real life. So tell me, tell me what that's about. The music, the intersection of culture, all that. It's just like trying to make sure that the, the what, which I feel like every character also is doing is making mm -hmm. sure that the TV show don't just stay on TV. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like it, it feels good to know that when I'm at the gym and the reason why I say it's on your workout playlist is because it's on mine, you feel me? <laughs> and so it, it come on sometimes and I'll be in my mode. And I'll be like, dang, cause like, Double blessing, turn it up, you know, right? just like that. I feel like to, to have a TV show that still transcends past the screen, past, you know, what it is to be a cinephile or whatever, and then gets to actually pay not just homage to musicians and their great work in the past, but also give fresh wind for the new ones to come, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Generation now, so, yeah. Definitely. I mean, it's on the workout playlist. It, they playing it in the clubs now. So it, it really <laughs> transcended from TV to real life. Yeah, so okay. I, I, I love that for you guys. And I love that's where it's going. Um, I just wanted to ask you about you being your character, being um, a music artist in the show and how it kind of uh, draws the parallel to, you know, today's music artists and mm -hmm. everything that, that they got going on. What was it like playing a rapper and playing someone who, you know, equally was going through it just like the other castmates were, even though, you know, the glitz and glam of the rap game, but you're, you still was going through it. Yeah, I, it was fun, you know, getting to play that, you know, perspective of um, another version of a struggling artist because I've been the struggling artist as an actor, you feel me? Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I love that. So, so I totally got it. And just being in that space where Lamont was, I was like, you done been there, RJ, but when you went to try to go pawn your watch, they said they only accept real jewelry and that kind of thing. <laughs> But that's that's okay. <laughs> that's know? okay, cause cause right. look at you now. Man, it was so triggering, but it was okay. All I used it. Uh, okay, so what that that brings me to my next question. Actually, would you say that's the biggest way you related to your character, and y'all both feel, have felt, still do in the past, whatever that struggle? No, I think just the I think. Lamont, me and Lamont mostly together, and as I'm kind of getting this complete sense from just how the audience um, is kind of ingesting and getting to accept and fall in love with Lamont is okay. being misunderstood from the genuine place of trying to be genuinely loving. You feel me? Like, okay. like I, I do for everybody, you feel me? And in the places that I do slip, all you gotta do is just tell me that I slipped there mm -hmm. and then we fix it. You know, just like Lamont, like, it doesn't take him 10 times or it doesn't take me a, four breakdowns and, and two heart attacks, you know what I'm saying? For him to actually see the places where she needs him at, you feel me? But, and I think that was really, really good to show throughout this season was just that simple communication between people can change literally a whole situation for the better. Definitely. You know? Definitely. I love that. Well, just to wrap, one of my favorite things besides your character, because we all loved him, about <laughs> this show um, was how timely it was. And I was speaking to your other castmates about that as well. Um, I feel like sometimes shows that are shot previously, whether that be two years ago because of COVID or whatever, they're not really timely. Mm -hmm. And I feel like from the puns to the inside jokes that only if you're in this culture, only you'll get yeah. um, to the music, to everything, to the issues, the real life issues that your character, everyone's dealt with whether that's sexual identity money issues relationships it's just showed everything through like a fresh 2022 lens and mm -hmm. I think that we appreciated that as someone in the culture currently both of us so tell me a little bit about that how timely do you think this this series was I think it's really timely because we at the peak of like everything right now you feel me <laughs> like everything at the at the E and then the opposite side is the F. Everything is past the F and then some, you know? Yeah, so I feel like this show kind of pops a lot of those pressure bubbles, you know, because everybody right now, we've been taught to seclude ourselves. So all of our problems seem like they are literally only here. 
Right. Like we can't go somewhere else for help. You feel me? Like literally this pandemic changed the human being group into just the human being. You feel me? Took the family and made it into the posse, you know, like, I agree. and so it, in a lot of ways, this show kind of gives the release bubble to be like, hey, while you were going through that, we were too. Oh my gosh, girl. Okay. Like, oh, I felt that child. I, I felt that. I Look, you have I no idea. It. <laughs> exactly. So you know. how many times I said that throughout the series? Like, woo! I felt that. So yo, yo. thank you guys for really bringing that realness on screen. My last question for you is season two, which we are all very excited about, and everyone's pissed right now that season one is ending. So like you know, like hate to throw on that pressure, but we are already. It's like Game of Thrones. We're already ready for the next season. I plan so, to get jumped at the grocery store, to be honest, because we ended. So I got my, I got my security team and everything ready. We, we, we still going to be ready because, you know, I don't, it's, it's not right for the anger to be directed towards you, but it's real anger and that's I, good. I People understand. <laughs> I understand. People love this show. So season two, what can we, without spoilers, look forward to the most? Or with a little spoilers, whatever you feel. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you feel, whatever you're feeling. Uh, I don't, it's a Issa Rae show, so I mean, the most I can say without saying too much or too less would be more Issa Rae heat, you feel me? Okay. Uh, more, yeah, yeah, yeah. More Issa everything. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna, y'all gonna love season two, just like, if not more than what you love season one. Okay. Okay, yeah. RJ, those are big shoes to fill, so I'm gonna take your word on that. You know better than we, we do. We made the shoes. They are shoes. <laughs> Listen, they are your shoes. And y'all walked in them a warm well this season. Congratulations on such a great character, your character specifically, and such a great season that everybody's pretty much hooked to. Like, yeah. my boyfriend, my guy friends, they like crap shit. I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> they like, when, when is it? What day does it come on? catch on at first but now they're like what day does it come on is it oh, sunday yeah. is it wednesday because i need to yeah. if they don't got it streaming so congratulations on a successful season one and i can't wait to see what happens season two thank you thank you so much all right RJ. have a